Um, as you know, folks that follow us closely, um, you know, Don at E3 announced um, our big move into bringing TV to the Xbox this past year. Um, Comcast is um, obviously the largest provider in the U.S., but we have uh, a number of providers globally that are doing that. And what we've done is there's a one-time linking and authentication of your account. So if I'm a Comcast customer, actually am a Comcast customer, um, I've authenticated and linked once, and then it, Xbox automatically knows when I go to that TV menu, it brings me up Comcast or Xfinity. If I was a Verizon Files customer or a B Sky B customer in the UK, it would do the same. So again, we, we just add TV and then we know who your TV provider is and it plugs right in there um, in a really simple way. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Xbox, TV. Here's an example you see is um, it's all the Xfinity content. We'll go to search. And so with the Xfinity app, um, which will be launching soon on Xbox 360, this brings a massive, massive catalog from Xfinity to the, to the service. So we've got um, their, their Xfinity movie library, um, you know, tons of um, all the latest TV shows, past seasons. That is my avatar, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering. Yeah. yeah. Avatar 101, make them skinnier and dress them nicer than you probably normally dress. <laughs> if you haven't done that, just a little pro tip. <laughs> and then... Uh, and then lots of kids content, as well as the ability to go in and find your favorite shows by network. So, um, and again, the same kind of Metro style interface. Um, what I love is it's really simple. My mom, my son, anybody that's, that whether they've ever used an Xbox before can simply see something, say it, and navigate through the menu. So I'll show you an example of uh, what that might be like. Xbox, networks, networks. And I can go and browse through multiple networks. Um, you can see the top ones show up here. ABC. ABC. Item one. And now it'll show me um, the top shows from ABC. This app is in development, so you might notice mm -hmm. a little. You mean they're not going to be called item one, two? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so we'll pick a lot of these also available in HD, which is great. Um, so what I love about this is a couple things. One, the, the requirement to have to always set your DVR. This is really DVR in the cloud, which is what it's been easy to invest a lot in. You always get the latest <laughs> shows. Um, whenever you select a program, it takes you to the latest episode, or you can search for ones that you may have missed. Xbox. Body of Proof. play. And when I select the episode and I say, oh, I said episode, sorry, play, <clears throat> um, it will automatically launch the latest episode. And as soon as I say play, it takes me right there. So again, really trying to optimize for the most common kind of answer to what consumers are looking for. Uh, and here we go. There's a, almost all these providers now are letting you know that, uh, with free on-demand content, you can no longer fast forward, so, but you can uh, pause uh, throughout the show. So are you basically, is this putting a new front end on like Comcast VOD, or can you do live TV and other things? There? Xbox pause. It kind of, it kind of depends on which TV provider it is. For day one with Comcast, we're launching with their full on-demand catalog. Mm -hmm. um, with Verizon, we have um, a set, a large set of their live TV. You know, kind of depends program by program. This is kind of V1, so imagine that more content, more things will happen over time. Is that is that because they are nervous about transferring their whole you know, experience over to Xbox, or is there some other technical limitation? It's mostly, I don't know, Don, if you want There's to body of work that just needs to be done. Yeah. And it, I mean, that's the simple answer is we're, we're bringing on board partners, and they're not only US based, we're doing television inside of other geographies. Yeah. Canada would be TELUS, in the UK, we've got a different set of partners in France, a different set of partners, et cetera. Is, is, like, is there demand among. Sorry. sorry, how many countries have you got this going? Over uh, 10, I'm not sure yeah. the latest, yeah. yeah. Greater than 10 with a constant stream of partners coming on throughout 2012. 